Hello guys and welcome to another Tweaker Man video. Today we're going to be fitting a chassis mounted IEC plug into the back of our AWA ADS950 cassette deck. This um, chassis mounted IEC plug is uh, pure copper, four nines, and then it's rhodium plated, so it's a high end one. Okay, this is our cassette deck. Uh, in our previous video you saw us clean the heads on it. So now we've undone the, uh, the casing on the back. I'm going to flip that up. If I turn this around to there, you can see our power supply in there. Um, with our fixed power cord at the moment. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be unsoldering that. And then we're going to be cutting a piece in the back there. So the IEC plug will fit into it, the female IEC plug. Right, first of all we're going to be just chopping the old, uh, the old cable off. We'll chop it to about there. Okay, and then we've got to then take out the the fixed plastic strainer in the back of it. Okay, which will be taking that out like that. Doesn't really matter, we can cut it out, we won't be reusing it again. Right, basically we've got a bit of card and we've made a template of the back of the uh, the uh, chassis mounted IEC plug um, and we're going to be using putting it over the old hole there so so we cover that hole up where we'll be cutting that hole out uh, put it to about there make sure you get it nice and straight down a bit further okay and then we're going to be just marking it around with a pencil Right, okay, that's the shape of the back of the IEC plug. Now, for this task, you're going to need a drill. Now, we're using a battery drill with a, with a, a uh, three mil, uh, sorry, a four mil um, drill bit in there. And we're going to start by drilling loads of holes around the. Uh... Okay, very close to each other. This is the best way of cutting out metal if you're not really a professional. Right, okay, we're drilling, we're on the last hole that we've drilled now. We're just going to use a hoover, make sure we get all the bits of iron fire ends up. I forget the, uh, bits of steel, I think. Okay. All inside this, except that. That's it. Well, what we're going to do is we, you'll need a pair of uh, snippers. We're just going to be snipping in between the the, uh, the the holes that we've drilled to get. We don't want to try to buckle the back of the the casework, so just gradually snipping it. Okay. Right, okay, we're coming to the end of it. We'll just snip the last bit off there. Give it a bit of a wiggle. Right, okay, that's all that off. There's a bit there, there's a bit of a rogue one there. We'll just take that up, snip that off. Okay. Right, okay. That is the uh, whole cut out. Obviously, it's, uh, it's still not quite big enough yet. We've got to do some filing on it. So basically, uh, We've got a needle file here, and we're going to just start filing the cabinet. Right, we're going to be filing this a bit noisy. We need to file it all nice and smooth, all over. So we're just coming to the to the end of that. Let's just check this fits now. There you go, perfect. So what we're going to be doing now is just drilling 
couple of little holes either side so we can put a self tapper screw in there so we're going to switch to a uh, a two mil drill bit okay i'm just going to center it there start off there do the same there pull out the uh, plug again we're going to be Two. Right, okay. Well, I was going to have a hoover up of all the uh, filing. When the case works, it makes sure you get all the filings out everywhere. Right, okay. One thing we're going to just do quick is we're just going to give the edges just a bit of a clean up. On both sides, and that just to get the furs off. Okay, that's done. Just a final hoover. Right. Okay. Now we've uh, we've cut our power cord there. Uh, we're going to leave this soldered on just for the minute. We're going to make up some new wires to go to that out of our. 10% silver cladded copper okay so now we've uh, we've got our pieces here okay so we're going to be cutting these in half if we're going to do a four way plat on these snip it off of our snippers so we need to do that we need four pieces like this right okay we've uh, cut our four pieces of our wire and now we're just going to put use a little bit of ptfe tape on the end again just to hold it in place twist it around okay chop that off there and now we're going to be doing a four way plat. So basically, what we do, we bring the cables out, the wires out like that. Then we're going to be crossing them over like that. There we go. It's quite time consuming. You don't have to do it too, too tight. You can do it fairly loose because. Uh, we want the cable to still have the uh, right amount of length that we need. Okay. Right, we're coming to the end of our four way plat. Swap those bits over. Nearly there. Right, okay. Now we're just going to switch, snip those longer pieces off with some snippers. Well, we're going to turn our soldering iron on now. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to twist those end bits around a bit. Okay, that's all that end. I'll bring that PTFE tape back a bit. Right now, we're going to be covering this in two layers of PTFE tape now, which is Teflon, so you can use it for for using on electrical cables. Right, okay, we're coming to the end of our second layer of uh, PTFE tape. Very easy to do these small limps like this, just to cut them, to twist the PTFE tape around. Right, okay. Now we're going to be using two two lots of heat shrink here. One a red one, um, and one a black one. Okay. The red one's going to be used for the positive, so we're going to be cutting 
this to length. Right, we're going to be cutting our heat shrink to the right length there. The reason we don't use the heat shrink directly on the, the wire is because the, uh, the Teflon, the PTFE tape, is a better insulator. Okay, so we've got that there. Now we're going to be sh shrinking that down. We use the, uh, the heat shrink over it just to give it extra protection. Right, okay, that's done. Okay, we're, we're using our WBT um, solder, silver solder. Okay, so we're going to take that cable there. Okay, and we're going to start, we're going to just cover the end in solder. Okay, that's that end. Do the same with the other. There we go. Right, that's one of our wires made up. Now we're going to be uh, making another one exactly the same, but indicated with the black, the black uh, heat shrink. Right, okay, we've, we've got our two wires made up now. And the reason we do the uh, the four way plat is to reject radio frequency information. Right, we're going to just snip this uh, cable tie off of there. Okay, that's that one. Okay, we'll just snip those about there and there for the minute. Okay, now I'm going to take the brown one off. I'm going to unsolder it from there. Hold it like that. Okay, we've unsoldered our two bits now. What we're going to be doing is soldering uh, the red onto where the brown was, which is the live. Load our soldering iron up with some solder. There we go. Is that the dry, that one? Right, okay, same, doing the same with the black, which is the neutral. Okay, I'm going to load up the soldering iron again with some more solder. Right, okay, we've got our two uh, wires now soldered on. We're going to push those through there. Okay, now this IEC plug uh, come direct through from eBay again, like we buy all our stuff, direct from China, £8.80. This plug in a Furatech would cost you at least £50. And this is as good quality as well. Right, okay, so we're going to be run done our screws on there okay now we need to work out what one's the left what one's the right on there right okay that's the live this side it's got a very little small well I couldn't see it at first and the right is that side of the uh, the neutral so I'm gonna go with the live first well uh, getting that into there Goes in lovely. I'll do the screw up. Nice and tight. Let's 
tight. Same with the neutral. Oh, the neutral's got a bit of a bit of a front there. It's a bit fiddly like this. Okay, right, okay, that's it. I oh, just need to undo that a bit. That's it, that's in nice and good. Right, there we go. And that then goes into there. Then we're going to move those up away from there like that. Okay, and I was just going to screw that in in a minute. Okay, we've got some small screws there. Okay, we're going to fit those into there. Screw it in. There we go, a professional job. I mean, this is this. If you can't do this yourself, you'd have to get an electronics engineer to do it or electrician. But uh, basically, if you look on the top there now, we've got the we've got the um, the live and the neutral going into both parts, uh, all soldered on nicely. So all we've got to do now is fit, fit the fit the case on on the back, screw it up, and then we'll be ready to go. Uh, just to say a little something before I put the uh, the casing on the back. This is our um, phono plugs, RCA females. We are in the next video, or in an up and coming video, we're going to be changing those to some high end gold plated ones. Okay. Okay, now we've uh, fitted our chassis mounted IEC plugs, all totally finished. And uh, this is just a stock. Uh, power cord that I'm using at the moment and that until we make a silver cladded one fits in there nice we'll just try to make sure it all powers up okay turn this around okay we've powered up there we go all working nicely this can be done on any piece of equipment that has no that has a fitted power cord so you want to upgrade the power cord because it improves the sound quality okay uh, stay tuned for another tweak of our video we'll be making a power cord for this deck we'll be doing loads of other cables and we're going to be doing a, a few videos on cable talk and general about hi-fi equipment okay thank you for watching and like or subscribe to us